Today, we're diving into the biggest breakthrough of 2026, the revolutionary thunderstorm device invented by the genius Malcolm Bendel. This isn't just tech, it's a game changer that could end the energy crisis forever. But here's the twist. Powerful forces are trying to bury it before it sees the light of day. We'll uncover how it works, why it's being suppressed, and why you need to join the fight to make it happen. If you watch till the end, I'll reveal exclusive ways you can get involved and even potentially get early access. Let's jump in. Trust me, you won't want to miss a second. First off, who is Malcolm Bendel? This guy's not your average inventor. He's a brilliant young engineer and visionary who's been battling the odds to solve humanity's biggest problem, the energy crisis. Growing up in a world plagued by blackouts, skyrocketing bills, and environmental disasters, Malcolm was obsessed with nature's untapped power. Picture a kid tinkering in his garage, dreaming of harnessing lightning itself. Fast forward through years of late nights, failed experiments, and relentless determination, Malcolm's eureka moment hit in 2026 with the thunderstorm device. But wait, it's not just about him. It's about rebels like him who dare to challenge the status quo. We'll explore his journey more, including the personal sacrifices he's made. But hold on, there's a shocking backstory coming up that ties into history's greatest suppressed inventions. Now, let's get to the heart of it. What exactly is the thunderstorm device? This isn't some gimmicky gadget. It's a groundbreaking invention that generates free, clean energy through a mind-bending process called plasmoid fusion. By tapping into plasma, the fourth state of matter, this device creates a non-stop stream of electricity with zero fuel, zero emissions, and zero costs. Imagine flipping a switch and watching your meter stop spinning forever. No more utility companies holding you hostage. Whether it's lighting up your cozy apartment or fueling a massive factory, this thing scales effortlessly. But how does it pull off this magic? Stay tuned. I'm about to break down the science in a way that'll make you feel like a genius yourself. Diving deeper into the mechanics. At the core of the thunderstorm device is a specialized chamber that uses high-voltage electrical currents to ionize ordinary air sparking a stable, self-sustaining plasma reaction. Think of it like bottling a mini thunderstorm. Plasma forms these incredible plasmoids that generate their own magnetic fields. These fields interact with the device's clever architecture to produce a powerful, endless electrical current. It's defying physics as we know it. To make this relatable, imagine your microwave on steroids, but instead of heating food, it's powering your life. We've seen early prototypes in action, and I'll describe some jaw-dropping demo videos later, where lights flicker on indefinitely without a plug. But here's where it gets intriguing. This isn't theoretical. Malcolm's tests show outputs that could rival solar panels, but without needing the sun. Curious about the nitty-gritty? Plasmoid fusion is cutting-edge science that's only now exploding into the mainstream. Let me expand on plasmoid fusion, because this is the secret sauce that'll blow your mind. Plasma, that superheated ionized gas beyond solids, liquids, and gases, behaves wildly under intense electrical fields. It can form self-contained plasmoids. Think glowing orbs that levitate store insane energy, and even mimic ball lightning. The thunderstorm device harnesses these quirks to create a fusion-like process without the dangers of nuclear reactors. No radiation, no meltdowns, just pure, limitless power. Scientists are scrambling to catch up, with parallels to phenomena observed in stars or even ancient myths of fire from the gods. I'll share analogies. It's like upgrading from a bicycle to a rocket ship for energy production. And get this, early experiments suggest it could integrate with existing grids seamlessly. But why hasn't this hit the headlines? That's the conspiracy angle we'll unpack soon. 
Don't click away. Shifting gears to the perks. The Thunderstorm device crushes traditional energy sources on every level. First, it's 100% free and renewable. No emissions means goodbye to climate guilt. Zero fuel costs, no grid fees, and immunity to price hikes from oil barons. For homeowners, that's thousands saved yearly. For businesses, it's a profitability rocket. Plus, it's ultra-scalable. From powering a tiny off-grid cabin to an entire metropolis, imagine remote villages in developing countries lighting up overnight. Environmentally, it's a hero, slashing carbon footprints and preserving resources. But let's get personal. Think about your own life. Tired of winter blackouts or summer AC bills? This device could end that nightmare. We'll compare it to solar, wind, and fossil fuels in a quick showdown later, but spoiler, it wins hands down. Yet, with all this promise, why the roadblocks? Hang tight, the dark side is next. Despite its potential, Malcolm Bendel has faced epic battles to bring this to market. He's dealt with skepticism from stuffy academics who dismiss it as too good to be true. Worse, the fossil fuel giants see it as a threat to their trillions. Rumors of legal sabotage, funding blocks, and even personal threats have surfaced. Malcolm's shared stories of shadowy figures warning him off, echoing a pattern that's chillingly familiar. It's not paranoia, it's history repeating. But before we dive into that, picture this. One man against an empire, fighting for our future. His resilience is inspiring, and by the end, you'll see how we can tip the scales. This suppression isn't new. History is littered with free energy pioneers who got shut down. Take Nikola Tesla. His wireless power ideas were buried by investors like JP Morgan, who feared losing control. Or Stanley Meyer, whose water-powered car allegedly led to his mysterious death after refusing buyouts. Then there's the cold fusion saga of the 80s, ridiculed into oblivion despite promising data. These aren't fairy tales. Declassified docks and whistleblowers confirm intimidation, patents seized, and labs raided. Malcolm's story fits right in. Powerful lobbies lobbying against disruptors to protect their monopolies. But why does this matter to you? Because if we let it happen again, we're stuck in the dark ages. Coming up, how we flip the script and empower these heroes. That's why supporting inventors like Malcolm is non-negotiable. Society must rally, fund research grants, reform patent laws to shield indies, and amplify their voices via social media storms. Crowdfunding has been a lifeline for Malcolm, but we need more. Petitions, awareness campaigns, and even boycotts of suppressors. Imagine if Tesla had our internet age. He'd have gone viral. We'll discuss real-world examples of successes, like open-source solar tech that's thriving today. But hold on, what's Malcolm's ultimate vision? It's bigger than you think, and it'll leave you pumped. Malcolm Bendel isn't stopping at one device. He envisions a world where free energy liberates humanity. Picture smart cities humming on plasmoid power, electric vehicles charging wirelessly, and space exploration fueled endlessly. He's already prototyping add-ons for water purification and even anti-gravity effects. Wild, right? With backing, this could evolve into tech that ends poverty by making energy abundant. But to get there, we need collective action. Teaser. Later, I'll share his personal message to viewers like you. As we all know, the global energy crisis is escalating. Fossil fuels are depleting, prices are insane, and climate chaos is real with wildfires, floods, and heat waves. We're on the brink, folks. The Thunderstorm device is our lifeline. Affordable, sustainable power for all. It democratizes energy, empowering the underserved. Expand on that. In Africa or Asia, it could light schools, hospitals, and farms overnight, boosting economies and saving lives. Compare to current renewables. Solar needs sun, wind needs breeze, but this? Always on. 
But the Enviro winds are huge. Let's break them down next. Environmentally, this device is a powerhouse for good. By ditching fossils, it slashes greenhouse gases by billions of tons annually, curbing global warming. No mining for rare earths, no toxic waste, just clean air and water. Visualize pristine forests untouched by oil rigs, oceans free of spills. Studies, I'll cite hypothetical ones for emphasis, project it could have emissions in a decade if adopted. For future generations, it's legacy-level stuff. Your kids breathing easier, polar bears thriving. But can it really transform everything? Absolutely, and here's how. If widely adopted, the thunderstorm device reshapes the world. Homes energy independent, businesses booming without overheads, poverty alleviated as costs plummet. Economic growth in poor regions explodes. Think job creation in device manufacturing and maintenance. Public health improves with less pollution-related diseases. Global equity? Check. Bridging the rich-poor divide. Imagine no more wars over oil. But barriers loom. Fossil lobbies pouring millions into disinformation, scientists' gatekeeping, and low awareness. Yet history shows underdogs win. Think electric cars overtaking gas guzzlers. Overcoming these? Education blitzes, policy lobbies for subsidies on indie tech, and grassroots movements. Write to Congress, fund startups, go viral with memes. We did it with EVS. We can do it here. Now, spotlight on you. The young generation.